Got like a sugar rush. Hello everyone, it is a glorious day in Bangkok and today I'm at the Orkator market. Now this market is not like any other market that I've been to before. This market is catered to groceries and fresh produce. I can already see mountains and mountains of fruit. I'm so excited to see what else they have. Oh, look at this, all these groceries. It's like a huge supermarket. This place is like a gaisi. In Cantonese, it pretty much translates to street market. It's like a supermarket, but open air, outdoors kind of supermarket. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. There's so much stuff to try here. Heaps of stuff to try here. Heaps. It's kind of like all these little supermarkets put together in one market to make a supermarket, a huge superstore. It's just overwhelming with groceries, so many things to offer, so many things to buy. It's not a market where you come here for clothes shopping or merchandise and stuff. This is not really the market for that, but they definitely have a little bit of everything, but primarily produce, grocery shopping. And then if you're looking for merchandise, it's not a far walk to the Chat to Chat weekend market. Long Gong and I had to buy some because she gave me a sample and it just tastes really interesting I've never had this fruit before that's what the beauty about Asia they have so many exotic fruit all over and there's ones that I haven't tried before it's like a Logan but not as ripe so it's not as sweet as the Logan it has just kind of sour twist to it the flesh is nice and soft and there is a seed then you can eat it if it's small it's really refreshing it comes in a little bundle like that is like a nice little family a really tight family they just like to stick together and then you kind of just pick them off and you separate the family Aww. too bad they're so delicious when you peel them their skin releases like a sappy milky whiteness if you could see that that's the sap that comes out of the skin and that gets really sticky that's why she gave me this wet wipe so I could wipe the sap off mm. tastes like a Logan but more sour. Long Gong. So apparently this is the Salah. I've seen this around everywhere but I've never tried it. Oh. Oh, whoa. Wow, it's really good. Surprisingly juicy. Because outside it looks so dry and it feels so hard but I bit into it and it's just so much juice and it has this very nice sweet flavour. It's kind of like a lemon and a mandarin in like a custard apple kind of thing and it has kind of this milky taste to it as well. It just tastes really interesting. I'm just so surprised on how juicy it is because it doesn't look or feel juicy at all. In a way it kind of looks like a lychee but a more aggressive and dangerous lychee but the taste is just so much different flavours in there. It's sweet, it's a little bit sour, it's milky, so good. This is the one that is in the peel or the shell whatever it is and you can see that it's very prickly. I don't know if you can see the, the, the spikes. The skin of it kind of looks like a reptile, like it looks like snake skin or like an armadillo. You know those armadillos? It kind of looks like that, like a little miniature armadillo. Mean and spiky outside, but so sweet and juicy inside. Ah, don't judge a book by its cover. And then afterwards, when they skin it, it looks a little bit like a jackfruit. But it's not as sticky, it's dry. It's like a chestnut, in a way. The seed in there is actually quite big. It looks like a lychee seed, but a lot bigger. But it's the taste that's so interesting. Sala. If you see it around, give it a shot. Look at this, they've got like, is it, what is it called? It's sweet apple. This is sweet apple? Mm. It's definitely very sweet. Hence the name sweet apple. I'm gonna get a pack. Looks like I just bought a birthday cake. See how they cut it? So all those ridges. Looks so awesome, huh? <laughs> mm. The taste is extremely sweet. I'm surprised on how sweet a fruit could be. It feels like I just bit into a big ball of honey or something. Oh. The 
texture is a little bit like guava where it's got that little bit of that chalkiness but it's so sweet it's like a very extremely overripe guava it's funny because the actual fruit itself just looks like a big kiwi fruit you know a hairless kiwi fruit these are very delicious but a little bit too sweet it's like syrupy sweet I mean I kind of asked for it when I bought sweet apples I'm not the biggest fan of it the texture is very very soft like a ripe mango it's really soft not something I would crave or come back for first time I've seen these actually so I had to give it a go I didn't know it was that sweet I got my star fruit and you can see why it's called a star fruit because after you cut it it resembles a star look it's like Patrick you know who Patrick is? I can't wait because I love star fruits. One of my favorite fruits. Some star fruit you get is very, very sour, and some are kind of sweet, and some kind of don't have a taste. It's just like a fresh, watery flavor, and it's just lots of juice. All star fruit you get is it has lots of, lots of juice. And you can see there's a little seed in there. The outside is like a waxy kind of feel. Let's see how this one tastes. Mmm. Oh yeah. Very fresh tasting. Kind of like an apple and a pineapple mixed together. It has that tangy aftertaste. Very juicy, very fresh. The flesh is nice and crunchy with a beautiful crispness to it. It's nice and refreshing. It's like having a drink. It's like a food. It's like a drink. Beautiful for like a summer's day. You can just break it like that. And the flesh is it's like a, a see-through apple in a way. And it's just nice, tangy, watery texture. It has a lot of juice. A lot of juice and this one is actually not that sweet and I actually prefer that I don't like the ones that are really sweet this one is nice fresh kind of tang to it the star fruit just has a unique taste to it itself it has a really unique flavor you have to eat it to find out one of the best fruit it's so good the things here are not very cheap but I think you're paying for the freshness everything is so fresh here this market is known for fresh produce and and fresh fruits and vegetables everything you're paying for quality and also the atmosphere here is just amazing so you come for the experience this market has so much to offer I'm gonna definitely have to come back uh, to check out some other stuff if you're in Bangkok make sure you come and check it out thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna link everything down below remember if you like the video give it a thumbs up you only got one life live it